Learning Rabbi Yoyna's Shari Tshuva. We are in the middle of the second Shar. We are in the middle of the Derech HaShlishi, the third way of his Iris. Page 163 in the article Rabbi Yoyna, in which Rabbi Yoyna continues in explaining how we have to heed with utmost care words of Musr, words of Teichacha, inculcate words of his Iris in order to allow ourselves to change. Says Rabbi Yoyna, Yoyna, Merlava Shalom, says Shalom HaMelech, Ma'arinayim, the light of one's eyes, Yisamach Leiv, makes his heart happy, Shemua Taiva, good Shemua, Tidashin Etzem, fattens the bones. Oizin Shamas, the ear that hears, Toichachas, Toichacha, reproof, Chayim, will have life, Bekar Chachamim Talin, will live, or I should say, Toichachas Chayim, the Toichacha that gives life, Bekar Chachamim Talin, will live amongst the Chachamim, amongst the wise. Says Rabbi anyone who's a chacham leiv, he's wise of heart. He should know. It's impossible. It's that what Shleima Hamelech wrote. Such simple ideas for no reason. amidst the Musar and years Hashem of Mishlei. We already know it's a pasuk in Malachim that one should become that he was Shlomo Melech, excuse me, was the Yech Kamikol Adam. He was wiser than all men. So, what is the first pasuk adding on? Asks Rabbi Yehuda. Chinzeh Pesha Adavar must be as follows: that when the first pasuk says Marinayim, when the first one says Yisam Achleif, when it says the light of one's eyes and it gladdens his heart and a Shmua Tova, what does it teach? It teaches as follows. What this means is the eye is very precious. Because it enables one to see light. And what does light do? It gladdens the heart. Excuse me. And then when the Apostle continues and said a Shmua Taiva fattens up the bones, what does that mean? That means that the ear is even greater than the eye. Why? Because your ear enables you to hear something which is good, which fattens up your body. A body part that doesn't feel and cannot be fattened by the light of one's eyes, but only getting greater. So Rabbi is explaining that this Pasuk is going and going and growing and elevating within the pleasure, within the physical reality. There's the Ma'are Nayim. There's the light of one's eyes that enables you to see. What does seeing do? What does light do for us? It brings Simcha, it brings gladness into our world. But then even more than the light, is what is your ear? An ear that has no feeling, what does it do? Via hearing the good news that makes your bones literally fat. Explains your Bain approves this because it sounds wild. What? Your ear is more precious than your eye? Says your Bain yeah. That your ear, because Chazal have taught us that your eyes in is nichbad, it's more honorable, it's more precious than all the other limbs. If you blind one friend, if you damage someone else's eye, you pay for the eye. If you deafen him, you make him lose his hearing, you have to pay his whole body. So we see clearly that hearing is at some level, at a higher level, which of course is what he's trying to explain, because if you gave someone a choice, which one would you give up, or which one is more important? I believe most people would certainly say, that the eyes are more important. So explains Rabbi Kula. We have to serve Hashem with all of our limbs and all of our organs. Because Hashem created each and every part of our body to serve Him. Every part that Hashem has made was for His sake. So based on the idea that every part of our body is there to serve Hashem, then certainly 
the parts of the body which are of more value, are more important, you have to serve Hashem even more. The eyes, the ears. And there's a greater punishment. There's a greater punishment if one does not utilize them in the appropriate fashion. And he doesn't serve Hashem utilizing them. And he fails as well to repay the kindness. It's a chesed that Hashem gives us our eyes, our ears. That Hashem gave us his incredible senses. So the greater a limb is the greater one that has to care for it and utilize it in the appropriate fashion. And therefore, says Rabbi Yehuda Al Kain. Therefore, Hekdim Lahaskir Achaz Yimel Es Oizen. Let me explain to you. The pasuk, excuse me, Shlomo Melech was telling you. Now he's going back to the pesukim. One of the advantages, one of the milos of the year, Ba'avur Haroiz Chagodol Chayvas Avodasai, to show and to demonstrate the obligation that one has to serve Hashem with the ears. Obir Achar Kain Tkiti Avodas Oizen V'Shemayel Tachachis. And what is that? That's the example Shalom Melch is teaching us, listening to Teichacha. Vaimer, and he says, Oizen Shemas, Teichacha, Zchayim, Mekarim, Chachamim, Talin. An ear that listens to Teichacha lives amongst the wise. Pirosh, Roi, Lishkoin, Bin, Chachamim, Achrei, Shaik, Yakshiv, the Teichachta. Because you listen to Mercer, which is incredible. You might be very low, but you're listening, you're trying, you're on the path. You're And concludes, Rabbi Yon of Amr Zechon Levracha teaches Chazal in the Medjish, Nafal Adam and Agag, Benish Revarov, and he breaks his limbs. So, Rabbi Yon of Amr Zechon Levracha teaches Chazal in the Medjish, Nafal Adam and Agag, Bandage, band, not bandage, bandage for every wound of his body. If one sins with all his limbs, it's as if he has wounds on every part of his body. Says Hashem, there'll be one retia to heal everything. Incline your ears and hear in your neshama, your soul will live. So we see an incredible ability of the ears listening to Musar to heal the entire body. We'll pick up with the Derech Aravi, the fourth way of inspiration, the next year of Siyata Vishmaya.